Hey guys, today we have an interesting video to talk about. It's these uh, three cameras, Wi-Fi, smart, whatever you want to call them, V380 Pro. It's the app at least. And uh, I'm just going to quickly test whether they're even worth talking about or not. And uh, for that, first, let's unpack one of them. And uh, it's one of those cam uh, cam security cameras that goes in the light socket right here and claims to have good features. I don't have an, a, a memory card on it yet, but uh, I'll see after this video what's in the box. We have a booklet, which I may not exactly read the whole thing. I'm just going to put it on the side here underneath here looks like we have some uh, socket that you can mount the uh, camera on and uh, makes things better probably <laughs> but no yeah it's uh, to mount it somewhere other than where your light socket is so and this is i think r19 or whatever you call them standard nothing special about it you have the mounting screws two pairs of mounting screws just in case you need them but we are not going to need any of this for right now. I think that's how it goes back in. I'm going to take this out on the side here. And let me bring this right here. So now we're going to put it in the socket. And uh, I already did the setup. So I am just about to do a test. An actual work test for this camera. And see where that goes. Right here. Let me focus you guys a little bit better on the camera itself. And here's the app. And the app is called V380 Pro. That's the app. As you see right here. That's the camera saying system is started. I'm not sure if you guys can see the app very well. Online activation. And there's something funny I wanted to tell you about this app too. It's actually, it has ads. These are ads <laughs> in the app. And in order to... Remove the ads. You have to buy some kind of pro version of this app, which which I thought that was hilarious. That's very hilarious. <laughs> Let me put the focus here now and let's see if it connects. Wi-Fi connected, it says, and it should automatically connect with the app, by the way. Uh, let me go back in the app again. We make useful cameras. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is interesting. Let's see if it starts. Oh, yeah, it's actually starting. And uh, I'm going to probably record some of this and I'll show you on uh, on video while I record this one here so you guys can see it. And right now I'm recording from this uh, camera and it doesn't seem that bad. Let me put an object or something in front of the camera. This is the security camera. Let me turn off the light on the studio here and... As you see now, the camera switched the colors to some other color. That's actually not bad. And uh, while we're here, uh, let me get to the uh, light. Uh, here's the light control. Uh, let me click on. And now the light is on. And it's it's pretty okay, I guess. It's, it's not actually that bad. Light turns off. Or you can put it on uh, auto. And yes, it has a memory card slot on it, which you can uh, insert a memory uh, uh, micro SD, as you see. This is the camera app itself. You can switch it almost like a 360, but it's not really 360 as, uh, as you see here. You can spin it around. And if it was, for example, connected uh, on outdoors or on a room, for example, you'd be able to see in a different way, almost like a globe style. And uh, here you have more and you can go to display mode and you can switch it in, in some kind of panorama. I've never seen this mode before. You can open it this way and just spin around as you see and see it in this panoramic mode. This is very interesting. I at least find it amusing to me. And here it splits this one camera into all of these here, which that's something I haven't seen before either from a single camera. This is three camera you can split it and the last one becomes like a panorama as you see here and this one here is the globe on the middle which doesn't seem to move and panorama so it's two splits and it shows you the zone where it's connected and the panorama is for the whole thing i in my opinion this is not a bad camera actually i've seen worse for a cheap camera this is not bad at all 
in my opinion. I think it's one of those cameras that yeah, you can you can install it and have a camera at least. It has a microphone that <clears throat> should work, but we are too close here, but I'm just gonna click it so you I can prove that it actually works. This is the microphone. It is, is, it is brutal, actually. It's not the best microphone you've ever seen, but it's a microphone. And uh, here's the alarm. Prepare your ears for the alarm. Boom. And that's the alarm from this camera. <laughs> I, I, I find it interesting. I, I would say interesting. And uh, here's the installation mode and all that. You can put it probably in wait mode, I, I'm assuming. I know this halo you see around the camera here is because of my light here, but in real life, it doesn't have that halo at all. And uh, what other options? Image settings, which is just uh, color, black and white. And uh, what's that? Auto. Let me see if I can fix this one here. Yep. Color, black and white and auto. And pretty much that's all without having to install it outdoors and show you my beautiful yard that I might need to cut soon. And... Uh, yeah, that was the, where's the box? V380 Pro. This camera right here that says something as a smart, Wi-Fi smart net camera, network camera, easy, achieve real-time remote viewing. The box actually came as you see it right now. Yep, V380 and V380 again here. And no, this video was not sponsored by anybody. And I bought this camera with my own money just because I wanted to show you guys what this camera is about. And with that said, we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something and uh, bye!